So having experienced the hybrid model this school year, I can provide a first-hand account to the effects that the hybrid model has on one's flow of learning. I can certainly acknowledge that my ability to make social connections with both teachers and students has been next to impossible as a result of the hybrid model. When I'm a face-to-face -face student, there is very little opportunity to engage in conversation with peers. And when I'm an online learner, the disconnect grows even greater. My teachers are torn between meeting the needs of their in-person and virtual learners. The hybrid model is not adequate, sustainable, or equitable. During this most recent school closure, my learning environment was not always ideal. While I'm in class, both of my parents are also working virtually from home. I have one sibling in high school and another in elementary school. This means we all have different timetables to adhere to, which can be very difficult as it involves sectioning ourselves off in different areas of the house and controlling the volume of our voices so as not to disturb one another. As someone who is very committed to participating and engaging in class discussion, this is often impossible due to background noise, which makes me anxious and brings on stress because I begin to fear failing behind, falling behind in my courses. I can also recognize that on a teacher's end, it must be very difficult for them to connect with their students. Imagine a virtual meet that is led by a teacher instruction towards a class of silent icons. It's certainly not what I thought high school was going to be like. I believe high school experiences are enhanced with extracurricular activities and social events, which cannot be achieved when implementing the hybrid model. This year, I was devastated when I was asked to return the trumpet I spent months practicing on in online band rehearsals while never having the opportunity to know what an in-person concert is like and also never getting to meet my fellow bandmates. My teacher made every effort to make this experience as successful as possible. But how can anyone run a band effectively with some students face-to-face -face and others online? Recently, YCDSB trustees unanimously approved the funds to eliminate hybrid learning in, element in the elementary panel. My hope is that in September 2021, all students across Ontario will return to a safe learning environment that does not involve the implementation of the hybrid model. Hybrid hurts kids. My learning experience is not a unique one. I want to return to school in the fall with the ability to connect with friends safely. I want my teacher to be equipped to meet student needs. I would like the opportunity to sit in the cafeteria with my friends. And at the end of the day, I would like to be able to share positive stories about my learning experience at the dinner table, rather than feeling the need to constantly express my frustrations. If governments and school boards aren't listening to teachers or parents, I'm hoping that they will listen to students who have tried learning with the hybrid model. It hurts all of us and fails on all levels. The government says it has invested in mental health support for students. That's great. But what they don't realize is that we don't have time to sift through the resources shared with us to improve our mental health because we are dealing with fragmented learning. I hope this fall brings some sense of normalcy that does not include the hybrid model. Thank you.